time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Pour Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, Cake Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. Hey guys, Brad from Valley City Brewing here. It is time to drink some competition beer. Um, Today I'm doing, it's uh, Straw Colada Pale Ale. It's 55 K's in Kilo, 86 Z is in Zulu, 75 L is in Lima. They put on here, this is an experimental beer after having a strawberry pina colada this summer. This, uh, the base beer is a sessionable pale ale with a variety of tropical citrus and fruity hops. And he dry profile, uh, dry hopped it with some coconut and added some natural strawberry flavoring. So, get this out of the fridge now for maybe five minutes. Got a little bit of a hiss on it. And right off the bat, getting strawberry flavoring. Don't get any coconut, but that's just right out of the bottle. So now the pour. A little bit of an aggressive pour. Stop before we get to any uh, anything in there. I don't believe there is anything in there. Pretty clear on the bottom. Must have kegged carbonated. And clarity, nice and clear, just a little bit, a little bit of a haze, might be the coconut. A um, little bit of uh, continual bubbles coming up. Color is a light amber. In the aroma, I'm getting a, almost like a vanilla, strawberry, the head's dying down pretty quickly, but let's give it a taste. Mouthfeel, just a... Real nice amount of mouthfeel with the carbonation on the palate. Um, definitely getting the strawberry and a little bit of the coconut. Coconut's coming up on the back end of it here. Just a little bit of lacing on the glass. Uh, body, I would say light to medium. Pretty tasty though. I might let this come up the temperature a little bit more. It's still a bit cold. And uh, see if I can pick out any more flavors on that. Any more aromas. So let me make some marks here on the uh, score sheet and I'll be back with you. But it's a good beer. Enjoyed it. Um, aroma, definitely there. Open the bottle. Could smell it right off the bat as soon as it hits. Um, clarity, a little bit hazy, but I'd probably expect that out of a fruit based drink. Um, uh, the aroma, 
Bromo is spot on. The taste, very good. Uh, there's no design flaws. I don't think uh, anything went improper with bottling or anything like that. So you can get closer to those dregs and, uh, yep, a little bit, a little bit more hazy at the bottom, but. Very good. Probably just would want a little bit more carbonation to it. So that's it for me today. Um, 55K86Z75L. Very tasty beer. If you've already tried it uh, already, go ahead and post some comments down below. So tell me what you thought of it. And uh, we'll see you later. Cheers.